saw this post on Chief Talk about U-shaped stairs and thought I'd do a quick video showing how to do it. Let's get started. Okay, this is Steve and I'm going to help you out here with your stairway. Um, the U-shaped stair tool, uh, like all the stair tools in Chief, is uh, quirky to say the least. And when you click on it, you know, it'll ask you clockwise or counterclockwise. Well, counterclockwise means it'll go up this way. You know, up straight, land, and turn to the left, and then go up. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to make the gap. I'm going to make the gap four and a half to start with. And I'm actually just going to place it right out here. Now this, it'll calculate automatically. So if you go here to general, you can see the risers are only six and eleven sixteenths. So if you maybe make this side, oh, uh, let's make the first section only eight treads. Now you got seven and a sixteenth, so let's make this one eight, seven and seven. Let's leave it at that. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select this whole thing and use point to point and move it right up here like that. Now oh, that didn't work. Great point to point tool there, Chiefy. Uh, point to point. Try it again. See if I can get it to move right here. Yeah, close enough. There you go. And then I'm going to take this edge and put it over here. And this edge and drag it to the drywall here. Now here's here's where it gets crazy. Um, each stair has to snap to its own section of this landing. So if you look, if you look right here, you got diamonds for different sections. So I'm going to take this section and drag it over here. Actually, I'm going to drag it over here a little and then I'm going to drag this section and take it right to the drywall. Then I'm going to take this and drag it to the drywall. And then we're going to look at a floor overview. And there you go. There's your stair. Perfectly done. No rails. Of course, I haven't turned them on, but um, let me show you what happens if you don't know about the little nodes. So if your stair is here and your nodes, these little diamonds are like here and four and a half inches over right there. And you take this stair and you drag it to the drywall without moving your nodes. And you look at it in overview, it will be disconnected from your landing. And maybe that's what you were experiencing. So the key, of course, is to not do that. <laughs> Of course, they don't really tell you anywhere. It might be in the manual, but who opens the manual? I mean, come on. <laughs> I don't have time to go digging through the manual looking for some minuscule little thing. But um, so, you know, you can take it right here to the drywall and that should work. And then to get rails on, you know, you can open the stair here, go to the railing page and just say railing at wall on right. And uh, then you're going to get a railing over here, which you may or may not need. But I don't think you can, can. I don't think you can turn it off on this section and leave it on on this section. That's kind of goofy. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Let's see right here. So if I turn it off here, turns it off in both places. So I don't know. Um, somebody smarter than me will have to comment on that. Maybe there's a way to turn that off. Now you need a handrail here. And the way I would do that is I would go up here to railing. Let's look and see how I have this defined. OK, that's good enough. And then just click here on your stair anywhere, really. Pull it up to the like that. So what you want to do is you want to highlight this railing you just drew. Open it. Go to the rail style tab and click right here. Follow stairs. And uh, I'm going to open this and on the style, I'm going to not include a bottom rail. And um, let's take a look and see if it actually did what we wanted it to. It did. So that's good. So let's just click on it and drag it over to. I don't right there and then I'm it's hitting the wall, see, so. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you drag it over the wall here, 
In fact, what I'm going to do is going to center it on this wall. If I can find it, I can't. So I am going to draw a line here and center it. No, I can't do that either. The wall's covered up by the stairs, see? There we go. So I'm going to pull it out. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to center it on the wall. Then I'm going to highlight it again and move it back just a little bit. There you go. And I'm going to get rid of that. That was just so I could um, see what I was doing. So let's see how it looks. It looks pretty good. So um, let's go upstairs and take a look. Let's look at a floor overview from here. And that looks pretty good, too. Um, of course, the handrails don't come together. It's chief. It just stinks. Stair tool is lousy. What can I tell you? Um, if we turn on our F9, um, well, one thing we might want to do here is, well, of course, we want to probably... Oh, okay, so... The way to adjust this is to pull this opening back a little and then take a look and see how it looks, see if the newels are coming together. And uh, in vector view, you can see this probably a little better. In fact, maybe even a different view. Um, we'll leave the textures on. Uh, sometimes you can just open this rail like this and say no half post at wall. But you're going to lose this one down here, too. So uh, I'll leave that up to you. You can always go into the library and maybe place a newel here. But you, you get the picture. Um, and that's that's how you do that stair. I uh, hope I didn't go too fast. But generally, the stair tool is difficult because it just doesn't work very well. And I've only been begging for four and a half, five years to get it fixed. But Slow on the priority list, obviously, there, Chief, and uh, maybe someday we can only hope. It, it requires a lot of, uh, a lot of, they got to probably rewrite the darn software just to get it to, to work and give us options. I mean, we should be able to control every aspect of the stair, and that's probably a piece of software by itself. So I'll cut them a little slack, but it has been a long time, and they should fix it. So, or... Fix is the wrong word. They should improve it. Let's put it that way. All right. That's it for now. Good luck.